What's up? One, two, one, two, EJ 80 proof in the building. Man, I'm getting ready to talk to you about something that every man has gone through. If you have a girlfriend, if you have a wife, if you have a daughter, if you have a best friend that's a female, if you have any woman in your circle, you probably have suffered this disrespect. That's right, I said it. Disrespect. Now, y'all might be thinking, why is he so upset? What is he talking about? I'm talking about taking food off my goddamn plate. That's what I'm talking about. And you don't understand. This, this, we try to deal with it, try to rationalize it, but it makes no sense. That's what pisses us off so much. But anyway, I have four reasons why men hate it when you take food off their plate. Number one. Ladies, trust me, I swear to you, when we ask you, what do you want to eat? I swear it's not a trick question. We really want to get you what you want. So when you sit there and you look over the menu and you think about it and so forth and so on, and then you finally decide that you want the chicken and fish. Then we go, okay, cool. You want the chicken and fish. I am going to get the steak and potatoes. Fine. We just don't understand why would you order. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to get ahead of myself. But we're asking you. What We even let you order first. Just to confirm that you're getting what you wanted. I'm not going to say it. He's going to ask you. It's going to come out of your mouth. The food that you want, and he's going to bring it to you. So now that we both got our food, you got what you want, I got what I want, and now you're going to reach over and take some of my food. That pisses us off. You know why? Because of number two. In our minds, we're thinking, if you wanted what I ordered, why didn't you order the same thing? Why? But you ordered what you wanted. And he brought the waiter brought you that. I ordered what I wanted. And he bought me that. It, it, it's just irrational. It, it's illogical. We men, we can't process that. We don't understand. Honey, what do you want to eat? Hmm. I want the chicken and fish. Bam. The waiter brings you chicken and fish. You should be happy and satisfied. And you shouldn't want my little steak and potatoes because that's not what you wanted or you would have asked for it. This is the thinking that we're going through. Y'all killing us. We're suffering. And then you don't understand when we get so pissed off. Let me tell you why. The main reason we get pissed off. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to need something stronger than this later. Number three. We get angry because we ordered exactly what we wanted with absolutely no intentions of sharing at all. Not one grain of rice. Did we plan on sharing? This is the reason why we ask you to pick the restaurant. We ask you to pick the food you want. And we let you order first. Three steps to get you exactly what you want. Because we don't want to give you ours. Now, y'all might be like, oh, that's greedy. That's selfish. No, you're greedy. You're selfish. You got your food and you're taking mine. That's what I'm saying. That's why we get so frustrated. If you wanted what I had, order what I had. But don't take my food out of my plate. And here's the kicker. This is what will have me jump off the side of a building. 
What really kills me is that after you have taken a piece of food off my plate or asked me for a piece of food off my plate, and I said, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got the steak and potatoes. You, you want steak? You want steak? Uh, excuse me, waiter, waiter. Can, can I get another steak? No, 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 no. I don't want a, another steak. I just want a piece of yours. Brothers, tell me if that's not some BS going on. Because if you, t- if you, if you, if you want steak now, let's, I'm going to give it to you. You order chicken and fish. You sitting there, you getting ready to eat, boom, my steak and potato comes. And you go, wow, that looks really good. Maybe you think to yourself, damn, I should have ordered the steak and potatoes. Well, tell me that. Let me order you a steak and potatoes to go. Or you could put the chicken and fish to go and eat the steak and potatoes. But no, they don't want you to do that. They want to go into your plate, cut a piece of your steak, and it's not even a significant piece. It's just a corner off the tip. And you're like, what the hell? I just wanted to taste it. Listen, (laughs) I really don't understand, ladies, because the brothers can't help me because we're all suffering the same injustice. So, ladies, please, if you have a heart, if you have a soul, if you believe in a deity or higher power of any sort, please respond to this video and tell me. Why are you doing this? What is the point? Because you're not so hungry that you go, that you need to eat your food and mine. You're not that. You don't really want steak because you just take the teeny peeny little piece. Like... No, 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 no. I take it back. This is number five, I guess. But I take it back. You know what makes us really want to reach across the table and strangle you? I ordered the fish and chips. You ordered (laughs) the fish and chips. (laughs) Why in the hell are you reaching across the table to take one of my french fries? What? What? You have a plate of french fries there. What are (sighs) Ladies, ladies, ladies. There's obviously something that we men are missing. That we don't get, we're not understanding. So please... If you have an ounce of mercy in your immortal soul, please drop it in the comments box. Where am I missing this? So I could tell all the brothers and maybe the next time you reach across the table to grab something out my plate, I won't be reaching in my bag for my, well, yeah. Okay. Anyway. (sighs) Wow, that was a lot. EJ80 proof. I'm out.